this Sunday, the board is set and the pieces are in motion. Only the strong will survive and one will walk out the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. This is Mets 2128 here to give his picks for Survivor Series 2015. This takes place Sunday night, November 22nd, from the Phillips Arena, and down on Bad Street in Atlanta, GA. The baddest street in the whole USA. <clears throat> Seven matches are set up on the board, three of which interlock. So let's run down the card. First up. Tournament semifinal match number one. Alberto Del Rio, the Mex America slash United States champion, against Roman Reigns. They've been pushing Roman all year to get that title. In fact, this has been going on since last year. I'll admit they threw a curveball at us at WrestleMania, but who's to say they're going to throw another curveball at us at Survivor Series? But I'll get to that in a little bit. But I'll get to that in a, a little later. My, my pick to win is going to be Roman Reigns. Why? Because this is going to set up what I think is brewing for Del Rio in the future. He ends up Coulter will have to face Coulter's former protege, the real American, Jack Swagger. Swagger wants that title, and he wants his hands on Zeb. Primarily for stabbing what he believed in in the back. Dirty Dutch, you're getting your comeuppance at TLC. I can guarantee that. The other semifinal match. Kevin Owens against the lunatic fringe Dean, a Dean Ambrose. Ambrose's pay-per-view record this year has been a bit spotty at best. But the lunatic fringe is hell-bent on become, of running the asylum. If he wins, it'll be Shield Brother versus Shield Brother. Keep in mind, originally we were supposed to have Reigns against Rollins for the world title at the Survivor Series, but after Dirt injuring his knee in three locations in three spot, tearing three muscles in his leg, Rollins was unable, well, the gut is unable to go and had to vacate the title. He'll be out until at least, <clears throat> until at least SummerSlam of next year. Until at minimum next May, and at the longest, till SummerSlam. So who wins this one? Well, as much as I would want to see Reigns against Ambrose, Ambrose, I'm going to say Owens wins this match. I mean, Kevin Owens... Yes, Kevin Owen is the, Owens is the Intercontinental Champion at the point, and it would make no, at this point, and it would make no sense to slip him, him into the finals. But if you want a good face versus heel match... Give the heel the win in the finals. Give the heel the win in the semis, only to lose to the ch whoever the face is in the, in the finals. If it's Del Rio and Ambrose, I wouldn't care less. I couldn't care less. It's in the finals. Next up, Paige versus Charlotte for the Divas title. Charlotte won the title back at Night Champions, but this resulted in Paige going off handle. And even last Monday night, the con this past Monday on the con during their contract signing, throwing some very derogatory comments at Flair and Charlotte's family, specifically her father and Ric Flair, woo, and her late little brother. 
whose name escapes me. I know it's not David. He's actually the oldest son of the Flair in the Flair family. Ooh. Whether this was psychological warfare on Charlotte's part or an unjustified fight mudsling by in the face of Charlotte against Charlotte or a mud or attempt to sling mud at her, Paige probably stepped over the line. And Charlotte's gonna give it to give her her come up into my pain at the series. My pick, Charlotte. To be the woman, you have to beat the woman. And at Survivor Series, Charlotte is the woman. Woo! Tyler Breeze against Dolph Ziggler. This one, to be honest, I'm not really interested in. The, the feud is stupid. But Breeze is a dick. And if they're going to try... And, and if Ziggler, who was two years ago in the world title hunt, has fallen this far from grace, whatever he did, and getting him end up in the dog pound, send him in the dog pound, with that quote-unquote sham of a title run. I mean, yeah, he held it two months in 2013, but he barely defended it due to injury, due to concussions. <sighs> My pick to win, Ziggler. A 10-man Survivor Series elimination match. I mean, it's obligatory that you gotta have at least one of these kinds of matches at this event. Granted, when back in the early days, prior to 1991, the whole event was about these kinds of matches, whether it was 5 against 5 or 4 against 4. And in one instance, 3 against 3. Excuse me again. Now, who do I see being on each side? Well, on one side, on the heel side, definitely see New Day being one, being three of the five members, and probably Sheamus and King Barrett. Or on the face side, I see the Dudleys, Lucha Dra either Lucha Dragons or the Primetime Players, and Ryback. Or it could be the Dudleys, the Usos, and Ryback against New Day. And the Ascension. I don't know which one it's going to be. Either way, I say New Day is getting their ass whooping too early. They're not going to have to defend the belts this Sunday. I mean, the tag belts. But TLC, they will have to. And if it's in a tables match oh, against the Dudleys, oh boy, you know who's going. We're all going to be chanting in Beantown for Devon to get the tables. The Brothers of Destruction came the Undertaker against the Wyatt family. Which two of the Wyatt family? I'm saying it's going to be Strowman and Wyatt. If that's the case, then Rowan and Harper are going to be in the Survivor Series match for the heel team. That would be a creepy combination. <laughs> and... In my opinion, it would make sense if it's Wyatt and Strowman who go into this match. <laughs> uh, 
Lansing's Kane, The Undertaker. The Undertaker and Wyatt have been having this feud go on since WrestleMania. Wyatt claiming he's the new face of The Undertaker holding on to his perch. Kane wanting to help his brother defend the perch. Wyatt claimed he stole, he consumed the souls of Kane and The Undertaker after Hell in a Cell. Proved wrong. Rumors of the deaths of Kane and The Undertaker were straightly exaggerated. So I say, Wyatt and Strowman are getting their comeuppance at Survivor Series. And Wyatt, this will finally shut you up. Survivor Series, your, fam your ambition will come crumbling down. At Survivor Series, you will rest in peace. That leads to the tournament final for the vacated WWE World title. Roman Reigns against Kevin Owens, in my opinion. Now, here's the curveball I mentioned. Now, I will say Roman wins this match. However, just as he's about to celebrate, familiar Irish music goes off in the background, goes off, Seamus comes out, blasts Reigns with the briefcase, or... More logically, Reigns gets pop up hit with a pop up power bomb. Or they could do what they did at WrestleMania and have Sheamus come out before the match starts, cash in his contract, and make it a triple threat match. If that happens, Sheamus is almost guaranteed to walk away the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. If he doesn't and does the other way, but either way, I see, and I don't really want to say it, but it's the most logical outcome to give Roman someone else to chase after the chase the belt, chase it after for a couple of months. <coughs> <coughs> My pick to walk out the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion is Sheamus via his Money in the Bank contract. That's all I gotta say. I'm out. Peace.